So iOS 16.4.1 has just officially came out. So let's go and take a look at it on any iPhone that you're going to install this version of software on. Now the first thing to keep in mind is that if you want to update, you can go and click on general, you can go and click on software update, and you should be able to install this update just like this. Now the big thing to keep in mind with this update is that it really wasn't a massive update by any means, and it's coming off the heels of iOS 16.4. So if you remember within iOS 16.4, this update just came out, I think like last week. It already feels like it's been like a year. So I actually didn't screenshot it on here. And I don't even think I installed it on the iPhone XS Max before. So within this update, we were getting about a 226.7 megabyte update, not a massive size update by any means, but you can see it does bring in one specific thing. And I think it does actually fix a few things. So for one, it says this update provides important bug fixes and security updates for your iPhone, including pushing hands emoji does not show skin tone variations, which is interesting because I noticed that some of my videos about changing skin tone on emojis were actually becoming a little bit more popular during this time. So it's interesting that that actually directly affected, you know, a lot of people because it seemed like a lot of people were having that issue. And then Siri does not respond in some cases. So if you are experiencing any of those two types of issues, those specific issues should be fixed within this update, which is actually very, very cool. So, and that is the first big massive thing to keep in mind here. Now, overall, so far it's been pretty fluid. I haven't had any issues. It seemed to install pretty fast, but I think within all these smaller updates, that's typically what happens. There's been lots of issues though on Apple's server side, where basically the weather widget will no longer work, like random things like that all over the place. Now, personally, I haven't had that issue on a majority of my iPhones, but keep in mind, I haven't really been looking. I still keep my iPhone 13 Pro like one or two versions behind of software and I don't even have the weather app on that specific phone. So, so far it looks like it's pretty solid. I don't know if it addresses and fixes those issues, but overall, if you're on iOS 16.4, going up to iOS 16.4.1 is the only thing that makes sense. It doesn't really make any sense to be on a version of software that's lower than this if you're already on iOS 16.4, and it doesn't really make a lot of sense to be on like iOS 6, uh, like iOS 16.1 or even iOS 15. It makes zero sense to do that nowadays, you might as well go ahead and update to iOS 16.4.1. That's probably going to be the better version of software right now. So in terms of that, that kind of covers it up there. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, not me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out, so then.